What's up, y'all? I was speaking in North Grand High School the other day to an amazing group of young leaders, and uh, one of them asked me a very important question. She said, do I think religion can be used to manipulate the masses? Of course. Absolutely. Has religion been used to manipulate and enslave the masses, to make them commit murder in the name of God, to, which is happening right now? Look around us, look at the news, you know? Look at the last couple thousand years. It happens all the time. Religion absolutely can be used to manipulate us. But that doesn't mean God is not real. And we need to be able to separate, to, to see these things coming at us and finally discern and separate the two. So there's a difference between God and religion. Just because something has the, the name religion doesn't make it come from God. and doesn't necessarily mean it's good. So we should be very aware of different religions and question if they come from God or not. You guys follow me on that? Because deception is very cunning. You know, people have, have deceived people and enslaved us, put us into mental plantations for thousands of years. But that doesn't mean God is not real. And, if, and when, you find God or actually when he finds you and you finally have a revelation of who he is, he breaks all those chains off of us. He breaks the chains of slavery from our society, from our family, from our heritage, from our friends, that all starts breaking off of us. And then you cannot, in Jesus' mighty name, ever be enslaved again. You are a free man and woman. And now we can think with the mind of Christ. We can see with the eyes of Christ what is happening in this world. And we can be a light in this world to help free others. So can religion enslave you? Absolutely. But Jesus Christ frees you from all enslavement. You know, people tell me all the time, like, God doesn't have a religion. True, but he has a son and his name is Jesus. And he is ultimate freedom. He is ultimate love. He is the savior, redeemer, healer, our maker, our creator, our redeemer. He is all in Jesus' mighty name. Believe the gospel.